from that one with its shadows. Meanwhile, San in his top side going super low, Ooh. and there's the first blood. And San not even using his flash there as he falls. Now Tabe in trouble. He's a dead man. Lovely may go down. This is a short kill for Uzi. No. no, no, but he flashes in there, picks out, but now the turret's attacking him. He needs to be able to not quite go going here. Who lands the taunt, gets the kill, and that leaves us at 2 2. These Lane's what? just exploding with action. She was six first and pushed up, can now threaten this bottom lane. Royal is in big trouble. Yeah, Tabe in a lot of trouble from this one. They're going to focus down Uzi. He cleanses instantly out of the charm. Now, though, Tabe, is he going to be able to escape the taunt? Not quite landing. Lovely oh. going low. Cool managing to pick up the kill there with a last tick of damage. Close. There is the level six turret. Not quite down Ooh. just yet. Godlike here is going to get dove upon. He is going to get finished off by San. There is the equalizer coming down, but it's not going to be enough damage, or is it? Here comes White. San going to get popped. Big Pomelo going to be the next target. He gets slowed down by the Glitter Lance. Meanwhile, Lucky on the other side going in for it. Double kill comes out by White. And in the end, we see that Lee Sin coming up there to help things Godlike out. Godlike is in trouble. He's going to get kicked into the taunt. Meanwhile, Royal Club use that distraction in the top lane to start themselves off that dragon again. Yeah, and that was just Loveland sneaking in because the mid turret is down, but Royal getting the dragon. Maybe the fight turns. Tabe lands for Shendo. Wow, Tabe going very low, but cool. He's going to get burst out from this one. Uzi picks up that kill. Weitz is going to finish off Big Pamela, no problem. And now San, he's a dead man. Uzi going to get the finish on that to get a double kill. But is it over? Go going. He's chased down here. Lucky, where's the cocoon? Flash away from the Almost got. That's Trinity Force finish, so it's not Ooh, quite on the same path as what Gendry is. White's going very low from this one. There is Stan United actually coming down, and that's an easy kill and another pick from OMG. Cool is really making that Ari work. As long as he can land charms while Royal is trying to split push a little bit and get Uzi going, it's going to create power plays for OMG. Royal was completely on the other lanes right there and it's making it difficult for them to collapse in for this one there's the equalizer though trying to desperately save that turret the fight turns yeah they need to be careful from this one there is the ultimate coming out from San? Not quite able to lock them all up with that one. Big head off for this one. Lovely actually coming over the wall there. That's a very dangerous move from him. Yeah, shielded up by Lulu. There's White's actually coming in. Wild Growth goes down. Go going. He's getting obliterated. There's a three man crescendo coming in as well. Tabe picks up a kill, but they're only going one way right now. San taking tons of damage there as he falls. They're still chasing here as well. Lovely. Can he get away from this one? Tumble comes down, and that's a wow. triple kill for. The bay. Five for zero, a clean ace. Even though that initiation seemed forced by Royal, that's how confident they are in their team fighting. Check out how this fight works. Whites got popped up during his death mark, but because of that, it made OMG creep in. Notice how Cool and San move forward right as that crescendo was landing. It's exactly what Royal needed. And then, like all good veins, Uzi near the front of the team for this last team fight knows the last auto attack will kill, so he automatically moves on to Loveland gets that kill as well, and that is the monster swing in this game. We tried to find the real differences between them, and one of them was that OMG, after picking up objectives, did generally better pushing yep. out the wins and map. But Royal Club, if they were feeling they had any problems with that, they don't see them in this game. In that first game, they finished it off. In this one, they're looking for the damage as well as they go in towards Loveland. There's a wild growth put down very early. Royal Club going to start to just back away. Oh, that one. We are going to see Go going. There is a crescendo coming down. Go going gets a wild growth, but he's not going to escape that one. A kill for Uzi, and this vein is causing them all kinds of problems. Finally, Cool going to come back in. Uzi going very low. Cleanses off there right at the end. Weiss is actually going to die, but that is the turret somehow surviving? It would then allow him to clean up fights his main, but OMG going for the fights. They have the man advantage. Oh, lovely. And actually going very deep. Cool going to go over towards Sammy. There's a Stan United being used oh, very, very them. early. Uzi is coming in from the backside. Surprise! Here comes the vein. Kill for White. Sam's not going to escape this one. They focus down Uzi. Well, look at him. He's still alive. He's still surviving. He stays alive. Ace for Royal Club. What a Amazing fight coming out. Oh of my Uzi. God, right there. Royal just aced OMG. They beat them four times in a row. They're going for five. They have minions in the mid lane. Super minions, in fact. They're going for the win. They're going for the win. And honestly, 15 seconds for most of the players to come back up into this game. This is going to be a win for Royal Club. They are going to take down their Chinese rivals. Two to zero. Amazing performance. The Zed, the Vayne. 
too much for them to handle this time around, and you can see exactly what it means to Royal Club.